हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ लीन सिक्स सिग्मा आई एम मोहित शर्मा यू आर मेंटर एंड कोच ऑन लीन सिक्स सिग्मा इश्यूज एंड प्रॉब्लम टूडे वी विल स्टडी हाउ टू रिड्यूस द नंबर ऑफ एरर्स इन एन इनबाउंड कॉल सेंटर सो द बिजनेस केस स्टेट दैट इन एन इनबाउंड कॉल सेंटर देर इज अज प्रॉब्लम ऑफ कस्टमर क्वेरी रेजोल्यूशन एक्यूरेसी एट लेवल टू ड्यूरिंग इंटरनल क्वालिटी चेक एंड थ्रू कस्टमर फीडबैक इट वॉज ऑब्जर्व दैट team had an error rate of 23% the accuracy goal of the team was 99.5% this was leading to huge customer dissatisfaction and financial penalties for l2 team company has decided to do a six sigma project and a team is formed led by quality black belt the first thing that the team did was to create a project charter project charter as you already know has six elements business case problem statement goal statement scope of the project milestones and team charter in the project charter the problem statement that they identified they looked at data for the last 6 months and then they observed that the accuracy of the team is at 77% then they took the goal to increase this accuracy from 77% to 99.5% by june 2017 in scope and out of scope of the project was also defined a team started this project in march 2017 team started this project in march 2017 and they finished it by june 2017 the sponsor of the project was avp of the inbound team the champion was the senior manager of the inbound team mentor is mohit sharma process owner was ops manager project team includes various team members from the same team then the team created the high level process map with the help of copis they were cross functional team so they wanted to make it clear to everyone that what is the process they are trying to improve customer in this case is the end customer the output is the resolved query call received by the agent is the first step if it is a basic query that is resolved there and then and then the call is closed but if it is not a basic query the technical query is then passed on to l2 team then l2 team do some research and they provide the resolution and once the resolution is provided the email is sent to the customer once the query is resolved the case is closed once the customer acceptance is received the input to the process is the inquiry details the customer issue or the contact information of the customer and supplier of the information is customer as well as the l1 team team also created army chart and communication plan they wanted to define the roles and responsibilities of all these sponsors champions and operations manager and project manager and everybody in the team so they created this army chart where a stands for approver r is the resource m is member and i is informed it means in which phase of the project the person has to approve in which phase he will only be informed who all are the resources the resources are somebody who has a technical knowledge like an it guy is a resource to the project team member are the people who will help the black belt in data collection in uh, implementing the solutions in brainstorming sessions etc they also wanted to complete this project on time so hence they created a communication plan and then they followed it as well the next thing the team did was to create a fishbone diagram so they gathered the entire team in one room and they started the brainstorming session high error rate was the head of the fish under process they had some of the potential excess first one was it was a tedious process to obtain information it was a manual process under people they had careless mistakes lack of process knowledge and staff not trained properly at all under mother nature they had people in the night shift which creates more error that is what they had thought initially too many calls during the weekend that increases their workload on the working day the first working day which is monday and hence they used to make errors when they were performing under pressure under machine some of the factors were outdated systems network down and too many systems to be referred and under sme they were not available no internal skill development and sme or tl not available on the floor these were identified as some of the potential causes of the high error rate then the team created data collection plan in which the team decided on sampling technique and the sample size they used stratified random sampling to pick up 200 data points 
I have detailed video on sampling techniques. I will attach the link in the description box below. Let us move to mini tab in which some data is collected and stored. So let us see in column C2T error data is there whether it is a defect or not a defect transaction. Then in column C3 agents. There are five agents in the team. Which agent has performed in this particular transaction whether this transaction is a defect transaction or not a defect transaction. So if you look at your Y which is column C2 and X which is column C3 they both are discrete in nature hence team will use chi-square test and the path to reach chi-square test is stat tables chi-square test for association under rows we will enter column C2 and under columns we will enter column C3 which is agent we will click OK. The p-value of chi-square test which is less than 0 0.05 indicates that this x is a significant x. Now look at the column above in which the expected defect from agent 1 was 7.4 and agent 1 has created 3 defects. Look at agent 2. The expected defects were 15.26 and agent 2 has created 36 defects. It means the problem is with agent 2. Moving on to the next X which is tenure. So all these X's tenure, search in multiple screens, shift and documentation they all are discrete X's. So we will use chi-square test in all of them. When you press ctrl E you reach to the previously used screen in Minitab. So in rows column here errors will remain because it is project Y. In rows column we will not change it will remain column C2. In columns, we will use the next X, which is tenure. And we will click OK. P value is greater than 0 0.05 signifies that tenure has no impact on the error rate. Moving on to the next X. In columns, we will use search in multiple screens. Double click on it to select. And click OK. P value of 0 indicates that it is less than 0 0.05 which means this X is significant X. When they have to search on multiple screens the defect rate expected is 7.8 but they are doing 18 defects. It means whenever they have to search on multiple screens for information the error rate goes up. Next is shift. In columns we will enter shift. In rows we will enter errors and we will click OK. P-value is less than 0 0.05 in this case as well. It means shift is also a significant X. Next is documentation. The P-value of chi-square test indicates that it is also a significant X. Wherever there is no documentation available, the expected defect rate was 22.42. And the defects that the team made are 39. It means we need to prepare more documentation so that the process is standardized and error rate reduces. Moving on, when the team was able to identify the significant axis, means the axis on which the solution is to be defined. So the next step was to define these solutions. For first significant x, which was agent, they need to train agent 2 to bridge the gap. So they created a training plan and trained the person. Second was documentation. They created video based process documents and they also created case study based scenarios on exception or difficult situations so that the error rate reduces. Search in multiple screen was one of the significant axes. So the solution to this is they created an automated platform where entire information is available on one screen. And the next was shift, TL or the SMEs, they were available to resolve the query in the evening shift. So they extended the support to the morning shift as well. So morning shift was actually making more errors in this case. So by doing this, they were able to improve the entire process. The accuracy rose up to 99.5% and the team was able to achieve its goal. So friends, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. I will see you in my next upcoming video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.